In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of connecting a custom domain to your Google Sites website. This is a simple and quick procedure, so let's jump right into it. Google Sites is an excellent tool for building websites, especially for beginners. It's intuitive, user-friendly, and best of all, it's completely free if you already have a Google account. This makes it incredibly accessible for anyone looking to get a website up and running in no time. However, while Google Sites gives you the ability to easily create a site, the default domain it assigns is not the most professional looking. It's often a combination of sites.google.com and a randomly generated name, which is fine for personal projects or testing but it may not be ideal for businesses or anyone looking to establish a professional online presence. That's where your custom domain comes into play. By connecting your own domain name, like yourbusiness.com, you can give your site a more polished, credible look. Whether you've already purchased your domain or are thinking about getting one, I'll walk you through the process of linking it to your Google Sites website so you can make that switch to a more branded and professional domain. To start, the first step is to acquire your own custom domain. You can easily purchase one from a domain registrar such as GoDaddy, Namecheap, or Google Domains. These platforms offer a simple search tool where you can type in your desired domain name to see if it's available. Keep in mind that a good domain name should be short, memorable, and aligned with your brand. Try to choose something that reflects your business or website's purpose, making it easy for visitors to recall. If your first choice isn't available, don't worry. There are usually plenty of alternatives. You can either tweak your desired name with a creative spin or check for different domain extensions like .net, .co, .store, or even .tech depending on your niche. Sometimes, getting a less common extension can make your domain stand out and give it a unique feel. Once you've found the perfect domain, you can go ahead and make the purchase. Most domain providers offer an easy checkout process and you can choose between registering your domain for one year or multiple years. After you've bought your domain, you'll have access to your domain settings where you can manage your DNS records. This is where the magic happens, linking your domain to your Google Sites website. But first, you'll need to head back to your Google Sites account and get the URL details you'll need for the connection process. Once you've secured your custom domain, the next step is to connect it to your Google Sites website. First, go to your Google Sites editor and open up the site you've been working on. If your site is already live, you'll need to unpublish it temporarily to make the necessary changes for linking your domain. Don't worry, this step won't delete your site. Your content will be saved, but the site will no longer be accessible to visitors until the domain is connected. To unpublish your site, start by navigating to the site settings. You'll find the Publish button at the top right corner of the editor. Once you click it, a pop-up will appear giving you the option to either view your live site or unpublish it. Select the Unpublish button, which will take your site offline for a brief moment. Now that your site is unpublished, click the Publish button again to begin the process of connecting your custom domain. This step essentially prepares your site for the domain linking process by ensuring no live content is being accessed during the changes. Once you've done this, you're ready to proceed with adding your domain details and linking it properly. The process might feel like a lot, but don't worry, each step is straightforward. Afterward, you'll be able to see your site live under your own domain name. It will look much more professional and polished, which is exactly what you want. After you click publish again, you'll be prompted with a menu, and you should see an option for custom domain. Go ahead and click on it. 
This will bring up a new window where you can begin the process of linking your domain to your Google Sites website. Click on the Manage button to start the setup. Here, you'll be asked to enter your custom domain name. For example, if you've purchased a domain like mybusinesssite.com, simply type that into the field. It's important to make sure you enter the full domain, including the .com.net, or whatever extension you have. Once you've entered your custom domain in Google Sites, the next step is to verify that you actually own the domain. Google will prompt you to head to the Google Search Console, where you'll need to confirm your ownership of the domain. In Google Search Console, you'll be asked to select your preferred verification method. Choose domain as the option instead of URL prefix. This will allow you to verify ownership of the entire domain, not just a specific web page. Google will then provide you with a unique verification code, which is a snippet of text that you will need to add to your domain's DNS settings. Now, head back to your domain provider's website, whether that's GoDaddy, Namecheap, or another service. Log into your account and find the DNS settings for the domain you're trying to link. There should be a section for adding TXT records to your DNS configuration. Simply copy the code provided by Google and paste it into the designated field. If you're using a popular domain registrar like GoDaddy or Hostinger, they might offer an automatic connection between your domain and Google Sites. If you see the option to connect directly, click it, and the verification process will be handled for you. You won't need to mess with DNS settings at all. However, if you don't have the automatic connection option, don't panic. You can still manually add the DNS records yourself. Simply follow the instructions in the domain registrar's dashboard, and within a few minutes, Google will verify your domain. Once verified, your custom domain will be successfully linked to your Google Sites website, and you're ready to go live with your professional-looking site. If you need to add the DNS records manually, Google will provide you with three records, typically name or TXD records. Depending on the verification method you choose, you'll need to input these records into your domain provider's DNS management page. Each record comes with specific values, which you'll need to copy exactly as shown by Google. For example, in your domain provider's DNS manager, you'll usually click on an option like add new record or create new DNS record. Then, you'll paste the values for each record provided by Google. Make sure you enter each one correctly, whether it's a name or TXT record, because if there's a mistake, Google won't be able to verify your domain. After you've added the records, save your changes, and give it a few minutes to process. It can sometimes take up to 48 hours for DNS changes to fully propagate, but usually, it's much quicker. Once Google verifies that the domain ownership has been confirmed, you'll receive a notification. Now, head back to Google Sites. Go to the Publish section, click Manage, and type in the custom domain you just verified, mycustomsite.com. Hit Next, and Google will now successfully link the domain to your site. When everything's set up, you should see a small checkmark next to your domain name in the Google Sites settings, which indicates that your custom domain is successfully connected. Congratulations! Your Google Sites website now has a personalized and professional URL ready to share with the world. You can now visit your custom domain, and it'll load your Google Sites website. After adding the DNS records and saving them, it may take some time for the changes to fully take effect. DNS propagation usually takes up to 48 hours, though in many cases, the updates happen much sooner. During this period, it's normal for your website to appear intermittently under the new domain, as the changes are rolling out across the web. Be patient, 
Once the propagation process is complete, your custom domain will work seamlessly with your Google Sites website. Once the domain is confirmed and fully propagated, head back to your Google Sites editor. Click the Publish button once again to make sure your site is live with the new domain in place. After a quick update, your Google Sites website will now be accessible via your custom URL. This step is the final touch to your professional-looking website. No more generic Google Sites URLs. A personalized domain enhances your business's credibility, improves your brand identity, and makes it easier for visitors to remember and return to your website. Now that your custom domain is live, it's time to share your site. Whether you're showcasing a portfolio, launching a product, or promoting your blog, Having a unique domain boosts your professional image and encourages trust with your audience. Whether your site is for personal use or business, this step helps you establish a more serious, reliable online presence.